Central and Southern Iowa still cleaning up and drying out after yesterday's severe weather. KCCI's Laura Nichols is in Decatur County, where residents are dealing with flooded roads, bridges, and farm fields. It's new at 10. This is just one example of the flooding here in Decatur County. The river bank is supposed to be between those two utility poles, but all of this is excess water. You can kind of see where the channel is right now. It's it's about. 12 feet over normal stage. Decatur County engineer Dan Dorfler has been working around the clock since the rain started pouring down Tuesday. We knew we were going to have some damages, but this is quite a bit more than what we thought. Seven and a half inches of rain in some parts of the county left flooded farm fields and damaged crops. In other parts, roads were literally washed away and destroyed. We're going to have to rebuild a couple of bridges and then uh, damage around bridges. Um, culverts are up out of the ground. Uh, it's going to be a lot of work. Residents in neighboring towns also have a lot of work to do. I've got to get the wet carpet out because that's ruined. As the thunder and hail roared outside Tuesday, water seeped inside to Suzanne Ward's basement, leaving behind a mess. Wednesday, she spent the day cleaning up and running her sump pump. It was one of the scariest nights. Luckily, the storm didn't leave behind any injuries, just a massive amount of cleanup and repair to worry about. We're strapped for cash as it is, and when a, a big event like this comes in, it can really hurt the community. In Decatur County, Laura Nichols, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. And engineer Dan Dorfler says the county is looking at an estimated half a million dollar cost to repair those roads and bridges.